Ladies and gentlemen, what it do, what it do, we are back. Now, today we do have the best icons that are probably the best valued ones, man. You know, the ones that are like, I'd say under 500,000 coins, we'll keep it at that budget. That are basically like, actually quite good in games, you know what I mean? I've used some of them, reviewed some of them right there, seen on TikTok, seen on Twitter, I always say that. Done my research, man, so let us get into it. Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? Perfect new card what do you think Whoa, very nice look at that look no further than mmo exp link is down below top of description use code meta for five percent off what to do man ladies and gentlemen we are back right there we got the goalkeepers we're gonna get right into it we're not gonna waste any time now i do think that some of the icons in this game are very like Bro, it's very mid. I'll be really, really honest right there. I wanted to do a tier list, but I've been doing so much tier list recently. I'm like, now nah, we will actually just make a video on the best valued ones, in my personal opinion. As I said, keeping it under 500,000 coin budget. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, subscribe as well. But yeah, let us get into it. Check as the first goalkeeper. I do think he has a decent, decent uh, price, man, especially for a icon. Icons link as well to players. So if you want to link some players, it's nice. He has 89 reactions, which puts him up there. One of the best reaction goalkeepers in the game. Straight up right there. Alongside Giroud, bro. <laughs> that man has 99 reactions, bro. What is that? We got the likes of the next one. It is the main man, Schmeichel. About 250. I'd say that's decent price. Links to a couple of players. And has 7-1 composure, 86 reactions. Now, that is a very, very nice, decent, decent, um, you know, dribbling stat when it comes to goalkeeper. <laughs> but yeah, reactions play a huge role. I always say it when it comes to the 1v1s. And just overall, their composure, man. Do you know what I mean? Of how they handle the ball. How their reflexes are etc so yeah overall i do think he has a nice card that is the goalkeeper it's not really that much there are some expensive ones like vds and obviously the main man yashin but for now it runs bro we got the very next one it is the center backs now center backs in this game i don't think you need that much pace straight up bro you don't need a lot of pace in center backs otherwise the likes of ds the likes of um uh, stones you know those center backs that have high high defensive work rates and high uh defending stats alongside the good play styles and i feel like icons will definitely suffice man you got the likes of campbell the likes of vidic and the likes of canavaro bro i do think canavaro for 330k if you look at his play styles bro he's got intercept plus which makes him enormously insane i definitely think this is one of the better center backs when it comes to just overall bro price wise and just the good good value man he's just small that's the only issue but play style plus meaning basically has a higher reach improved chance of retaining possession right there when performing interception so it's going to just be an increase increased likelihood of getting that ball from players and i do think because he's smaller he will move more nimble so yeah for 330 bro five foot nine is the only downfall but he has block anticipate that will all compensate for such a great card we got the likes of village as the next one 300k is a bit crazy i do think he has a decent pace split with 81 sprint speed definitely being his best pace attribute i do think six foot three is very nice when it comes to his overall physicality his aggression his physical stats makes him a menace bro straight up what more do you need for center back when it comes to defending and physicality being literally above 90 bro almost for physicality we got high and average as well 82 reactions very very nice and not too bad balance and agility bro i do think he'll be a menacing game slide tackle plus which doesn't really come that much into play because it depends on how you are playing in game when it comes to slide tackling like are you slide tackling in game he does have bruiser acrobat which is a bit weird a man can score scissor kicks bro at corners he's got aerial block bruiser jockey is nice and slide tackles not too bad i do think he's going to be nice man for 300k it's not bad we got campbell as the very last one and i think could potentially be one of the best value cards in this whole series bro he's 270k has medium uh, defensive work rates amazing reactions defending stats is nice and if you add a chem style bro even now his pace is nice but add a chem style that card goes to a shadow he goes to an 80 and 90 rated center back with 85 acceleration 92 sprint speed that is phenomenal bro for 270k six foot two as well and decent decent uh play styles as well now nah, bro I'm, I'm liking that card man we got the likes of the very next one it is the uh we'll go fullbacks first and then we'll go midfielders we'll do the wingers and then obviously the strikers 
Uh, but yeah, we got the likes of the next one being not really that much for fullbacks, man. We got the likes of Cole and Zambrot. Another there was Alarm, there was Zanetti. But in my opinion, they, those cards are just very, very mediocre in this stage. Even this stage of the game, that, which is crazy. But I do think they'll be decent in-game when it comes to the like in-game stats. But this Zambrotta card has always been a solid card for anyone's team. Because he has very nice pace when it comes to fullback. And just overall very nice stats. Like, inclusively, bro. It's just nice. And then look at his playstyles, bro. He's got Relentless. So perfect when you come to the late stage of the game. Press Proven, Slide Tackle, Block. Mid, mid, mid playstyles. I do think he's going to feel nice on the ball, though. 400k is a little bit above my opinion it's a little bit crazy but i do think there is better fullbacks for better price but for now if you want an icon that's a right back i'd say definitely he is the play man there's not even that much do you know what i mean but he is still nice cole is a nice one bro five foot nine is you know it's decent night you don't really need that much tall uh fullbacks man because you need them to at least be nimble to attack to cut in uh etc etc and i do like his um passing stats bro his passing stats is quite nice when it comes to the likes of his crossing uh does he have uh, he does he have the play style the whip pass he does so crossing 83 and whip pass he will be a menace when it comes to crossing just be straight up right there if you are good at crossing and you know how to at least take advantage you know with a taller player maybe a striker that has the uh hitting abilities um like the likes of i think it was like harland he has uh aerial power hitter etc then it will be a menace, menacing thing right there, man. But yeah, overall, very, very nice fullback. For 275k, not too bad. We got the likes of the midfielders, the most vital part on anyone's team. I'd say the best midfielders right now is probably these lot right there. It, it, it does look a little bit mid, but if you look at the actual cards, like if you're buying Clarence Seidorf and you don't like his value, bro, it's just not, I'd say it doesn't really matter because he's 150k, you can always sell him, but try him out, look at this card, he's got 81 stamina, which isn't too bad, uh, it's not the greatest when it comes to midfield, but dribbling stats and passing wise, he is phenomenal, so maybe playing a more narrow formation in like a 4-3-2-1 as a box-to-box -box CM or attacking CM, he will be phenomenal, very, very nice card, and his playstyles, he has power shot, doesn't really come into play when it comes to a CM, maybe if you play him cam, I do think he's better as a CM, which I'm looking at his actual position modifiers right there. He doesn't move to a CM, which is so dumb. Maybe he didn't play like that in-game. Sorry, in his real life, he didn't play CM, obviously. But I do think overall, though, even as a cam, he does look nice. So maybe as a cam or attacking CM, he is a very, very nice shout. Overall, we got likes of Beckham. I do think Beckham, if you can construct him with fodder and get him down to like 200k, will be good value. Right now at 335, it's a little bit over price maybe you just want him sentimentally three star three star is is okay it's not the greatest but for cm you don't really need skills you can just do the step over technique you can do the likes of rb dribbling do you know what i mean drag backs etc i do like beckham and i've been watching his documentary i've been saying it it's so good watch it boys it is amazing documentary unique body type does make him a force to be reckoned with man i do think this card is going to be nice in game Kind of like a very fun card to use when it comes to, you know, everything, bro. He definitely has what pass. I know that for a fact. Knowing Beckham, finesse shot is very nice as well outside the box. Maybe in a 4-3-2-1 as a LCM or RCM that is offensively inclined. Not too bad right there. Defending-wise, mm, not the greatest, bro. Maybe coming back right there, he can do somewhat uh, sort of like interceptions. But overall, he's going to be more of your attacking CM straight up now talking about uh, the opposite side i do think there is no defensive good icons that are cheap bro like makalele is actually quite expensive etc etc we got haji right there decent camp he's fast we're not gonna really go through him we got socrates i do like socrates bro five star weak foot always puts him up on that pedestal only downfall is the 58 balance straight up but he does have flair so him being tall it will help him a little bit when it comes to dribbling aspects the only downfall i would say is definitely dribbling when it comes to agility and balance it's a little bit low bro especially in being that tall it's not the greatest i'll be honest but yeah high and average as well he's going to be more lanky so even as a cf or a striker wouldn't be too bad do you know what i mean so yeah overall not a bad set of uh, midfielders we're going to move over to the very next one at ease the wingers now there wasn't actually right wingers or right mids that are good valued icons we got the likes of perez now why i say perez my, a lot of people might diss me right there, but I do think under 200,000 coins, this man offers a lot. He has finesse shot trade plus. So outside the box, inside the box, every time he finesses, it will be 
a stronger likelihood than other people that don't have this playstyle, you know what I mean? And it's very, very effective, judging by other characters like Griezmann, the likes of your Morgan, do you know what I mean? 81 stamp is a little bit low when it comes to wingers, but it, it will be decent, do you know what I mean? He's got the likes of technical, flair, incisive pass. I think he's a better as a cam than a winger. Personally speaking, he has the better finishing traits, better, better passing, do you know what I mean? But you can play him on the wing. Very nice. We've got the likes of the next one. It is Nedved. He's always been a good valued um, card for anyone's team, bro. Paolo Nedved right there. Oh, Pavel, sorry. Very nice card. Very decent pace right there. Excuse me. Very decent dribbling. But not the agility and balance. So add a chem style that boosts that, like the likes of an engine or the likes of a finisher. Do you know what I mean? Finisher is perfect, actually. 90 left wing, bro for 250k do you know what i mean he has the likes of power shot and rapid relentless as well uh it's okay bro nothing crazy but for 250k i do think netfed will be decent in game man but apparently it does feel a little bit heavy in game like a bit big do you know what i mean so add that chem style that boosts his dribbling aspects but the very last one it is the most coveted position it is the strikers boys ladies and gentlemen we got the likes of a lot of icon strikers that are good value now hernandez we got the likes of Sanchez. We won't go through all of them because, yeah, it's just, you know, it's icons at the end of the day. Like, some cards will play good in-game. I do think the best value one that I'd say, in my personal opinion, looking at the actual card is going to be Zola, bro. Why I say Zola is going to be amazing is he's 380k, right? Decent playstyles, bro. Actually, amazing playstyles. Finesse shot plus. You'll feel like a Griezmann on crack, bro. Only downfall is his stamp, but oh my days, for 380k, it's looking nice, bro. I will not lie. It's looking very nice. You got Michael Owen as well. Four star weak foot is nice. Three star isn't the best though for skills. But just do the step over technique. You will do some nice things. Chip shot plus that's very, very redundant. Finesse shot is nice though. Michael Owen. They did do his card dirty, bro. I mean, he won a Ballon d'Or, bro. Come on, EA. Five foot eight. He will feel nice in game. Robin Van Persie under 500k, 4 star, 4 star, lacks the balance and agility, but you can obviously fix it with a game style, like probably engine is perfect, man, I definitely say engine will also get him to controlled, with the likes of Hugo Sanchez, man, 375, lacks the skills, but overall just amazing stats, he's always had nice stats, and as a striker, especially in this like type of gameplay, he's got very, very nice agility and balance, so using RB techniques and just left stick dribbling will feel nice, you got under 200k Hernandez, decent card overall nothing crazy though i do think his play styles does actually come into play he's got the likes of trivela which is nice so it will obviously help him with that weak foot do you know what i mean so yeah power head as well not too bad but he's a little bit short so it doesn't really come into play that overall though i do think these are some nice cards another big one actually that i wanted to include was the main man figo bro uh i do think figo is good value i know it's over 500k but oh my days, it's only over 50k. Figo has amazing stats. He has technical plus. Will feel like Neymar on the ball. Especially when he dribbles, left stick dribbling. His finishing is amazing. Very nice stamina as well. I'm going to put Figo up there. It's, it's a little bit over budget, but I'm going to put him up there, man. That is the video. Hit that like, subscribe. I'll probably only do this video like I do it once a year. Uh, basically stating the best icons in the game. Sukas is another one, by the way. The best icons, sorry, that are good value. 150k for 4 star, 4 star. Trivela plus so he's gonna feel amazing with the Trivelas. he looks like an op card that you actually like hate versing he's not a bad card you know what i mean there's some there's some bangers here boys even burkamp as well as the one that i overlooked but yeah four star four star six foot very nice cam in game bro thank you so much for watching boys hit that like subscribe join the discord check out mmoxp check out my second link as well if you need the team urgently and yeah we'll catch you boys in the next one man peace